Welcome to this video where we will show how you can use batch load in Amazon Timestream. You can use this new feature to import time series data from a file in Amazon S3 to Timestream in bulk. You can create batch load tasks by using the AWS Management Console, Command Line Interface, or Software Development Kits. In this video, we will focus on creating a batch load task in the Timestream console. You start with preparing a source data file and configuring your Amazon S3 bucket. In this video, we use an example CSV file which you can download in the Amazon Timestream Developer Guide. This example file might include timestamps that are outside of your table's retention period. In this case, update the timestamps in the file. Also, make sure that the headers in your source CSV files match your data model definition. Finally, consider the service quotas and data modeling best practices for efficient querying that we described in the documentation. Find the link in the video description. After your file is ready, upload it to your Amazon S3 bucket. Make sure that your user has permissions to access your S3 bucket and files in this bucket. In addition to this, we recommend that you have S3 Git object permission to automatically load column headers from your source file. Now, you can create a batch load task in the Timestream console. In the batch load task settings, you choose your target database. Next you choose an existing table, or create a new one. We choose to create a new table. This is a straightforward process. After you specify the target destination, choose your source file from the S3 bucket. If your source CSV file uses specific settings, then configure these settings. Then, you define your data model. A data model contains mappings from a data source to a target timestream table for time, dimensions, and measures. This is how our data mapping looks for the example table. We load the column headers from our source file. Next, we define the data model in the visual builder. For each column, we choose the time stream attribute and data type. The visual builder uses the multi-measure mapping format. You can use different input options for other mapping formats. For example, you can use a JSON file with an existing data model or create a JSON mapping in the editor. For more information about different mapping options, see the Timestream Developer Guide. Next, we configure the error log report location and proceed to the review of the task settings. If you have several files that have the same data model, then you can use a single model for them. So, you can copy your data model in JSON. After we create the batch load task, Amazon Timestream starts ingesting data from the source file. Batch load import time depends on the size of your source data. If your task fails, then you can view the error report to find the root cause of the occurred issue and troubleshoot it. For our task, Amazon Timestream has successfully loaded the source file into the selected table. On the details page, you can see the task summary and progress report. This completes the overview of the new batch load feature in Amazon Timestream. Now, you can analyze the ingested data using the query editor, create schedule queries, visualize your data, and further generate valuable insights with Timestream's many integrations. Thank you for watching this video.